Hello beautiful Sagittarius. We are here with your top secret cross watchers video. What your person thinks, feels, intends, and their overall view of how things are going between the two of you at this time. Okay, Sagittarius, let's take a look and see. We have Snake Spirit, Time to Heal. We have Panther Spirit, Reclaim Your Power. Interesting card. Parrot Spirit, Watch Your Words. Okay, I can see where this would be the case. So what I'm seeing, Sagittarius, is that you are ahead of the curve. You're, you're further along in your journey or your destination in this relationship. What I'm seeing is that your person feels as though you're rushing ahead. They feel as though you're rushing ahead and they feel as though they you're asking them to give you the go ahead to rush ahead in the relationship. Your person feels as though you are um, pushing. What I see with this, this is a Scorpio King. This person loves you very much. They love you, love you. Okay, this person doesn't really talk about love a lot. I don't think that they've told you a lot. You know that they love you because I do feel that they've shared some of that with you, but they're not ready to make a decision. We have the judgment card reversed. Your person is calm, cool, collected. They do see a future with you. They do want a future with you because what we have here is a Scorpio King. Judgment card is Scorpio energy also, but they're not ready yet. They feel very bothered by the fact that they're still thinking about things. They're still considering what a future with you looks like. Do they think about it? Often, yes, they do. Do they feel as though they're um, fearless? No, they have some fears. Their fears are not necessarily around you, Sagittarius. I don't really see that as the issue. What I see is a person who is fearful of marriage, and I'm going to go out of sequence here because they've had people treat them badly. They are afraid of being wounded and, and the burden of it and they feel as though they could get left in the cold. So the moon card is picking up a lot of energy here that says, this says that you're on, you both want to be on the same page, but you're not. So that's what the energy is that I get. Do they want to marry you? Yes. Do they consider you a soulmate? Yes. Do they want to say, honey, I'm home? Yes. Do they want to uh, focus on more on the relationship and making plans for the future than the passion and living in the moment? No, they do not. They want. They are not ready yet. They're not really willing to tell you that they're not ready yet either. They. This person feels as though if they tell you, they're trying to take back their power, but if they feel if they tell you that they're not ready to make a decision, that you will pack up and leave kind of. That's what it says. You know, that you're gonna take your bundles, you're gonna leave them feeling sad. The Ace of Coins and the Two of Co uh, the two of Cups here is the advice from Spirit saying, invest, Sagittarius, invest, but be patient. You know, you're invested in this person. You don't have to rush anything. This is a very solid relationship. This person loves you. We have the Queen and King of Cups. We have the Soulmates. We have the Four of Wands. What I see here is that your person may have been in a relationship in the past, and this is a storyline I see, in which somebody probably took advantage of them, somebody that they gave a lot to didn't give a lot in return. Um, they're very slow moving when it comes to relationship. They don't want someone who's going to take advantage of them and leave them out in the cold financially the Five of Cups, they feel sad, almost as though their perception is that you see them as taking advantage of you if they are not on the same page with you. And this person does have the right to a different opinion, right? Two opinions, two personalities, two people are going to have two different opinions. So when I'm looking at these cards, I see a beautiful love story, a love story that your person wants to progress very rapidly. They like where you're at, 
but they're they're in hermit mode they're searching within to see if there are any obstacles that need to be taken or out of the way or worked on they're looking to see if they have the key to what could make the relationship happy for both of you they're looking at you to see if there's an, any hidden energy that you are carrying along um, that would be hidden that would absolutely come and hurt them or make them feel sad or whether you would abandon them uh, or push them out in the cold so we do see this person feeling very f fussed at almost like come on leave it be i'm not ready to go the distance yet so we see a little bit of a standoff energy but i think that this is very normal let's see what it is that makes them so fearful because they have a lot of fear let's see what makes them so fearful at this time what makes this person so fearful okay seven of cups they have a lot of options you have a lot of options okay so too many choices can sometimes be bad right okay okay that makes perfect sense oh my gosh all right that really answers a question what we see here is this person is healing we see snake spirit they're healing um you know you could take it as you know this looks like a snake that bit them somebody who was a predator somebody who they didn't get to know very well and they could have just dated this person or they could have been married to them but what I'm seeing is your person is still not feeling secure. They are bringing this energy from past experiences they may never have told you about. They may and they may not have. So for now, I would just say my advice would be slow down. This person does deserve, you know, they have every right to make the decisions about their life. And um, I really feel there's great love here. There's great love. There's great potential. This is a bride and groom card. This is a wedding reception card and the honeymoon card. Divine partner. We have soulmates and divine partners. I really see this as just more of a timing issue than anything else. So, Sagittarius, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.